Hey folks, uh, my name is Hannah Mallon and I'm the learning developer for the Open Learning and Teaching Collaborative. And I'm making a video today to talk about um, tackling a wicked problem and giving you some tips as an instructional designer and as someone who's taught TWP and helped mentor a few people who are preparing to teach TWP. And on that note, um, if you at any point want to talk through an instructional challenge that you're having, um, or go over an assignment, or just talk about TWP, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to talk at any point about um, this really awesome class that we have. Um, and you can reach me at hannah.mallon at plymouth.edu. So please reach out anytime. Um, but without further ado, here are my five tips that I've come up with. Um, they are in no particular order, um, but yeah, let's get started. The work of TWP requires students to be vulnerable in a way that they have never really had to in a classroom um, if they've never done a project-based class. Um, it also requires you as an instructor to be vulnerable with the students as you're learning right along with them. So spending time at the very beginning of the course, working in um, activities just around building a sense of community, I think is really important, something um, not to skip. Um, I spent the first two to three weeks really just doing lots of low stakes assignments and activities just around getting a chance to know each other, um, digging into the topic a little bit, but mostly trying to get students to talk to each other and get comfortable with their community in the classroom. Um, we created a community charter together, um, which I'll talk about more later on. And um, kind of related to this, seeing yourself as a resource for them to get acquainted to the PSU community is huge. I invited students to ask me questions about being at college for the first time. Um, and I got lots of really interesting, unexpected questions like, what are six week grades? Or how does finals week work? Um, which I think just really helped with that sense of community and belonging that we're looking for for our first year students. Welcome them into the conversation in terms of letting them know your reasoning for policies and classroom procedures. Um, I also highly recommend finding ways for students um, or for you to involve your students in creating those policies and procedures. Um, I previously talked about this community charter that I did with my students. The first day of class, actually, I didn't have a syllabus day. The syllabus day was the second day. The very first day was talking about the classroom that we were in and how it might, um, you know, uh, encourage uh, certain types of thinking and collaboration. Um, and then we worked together to create expectations for the class in terms of what it looked like to be present and to um, engage. And I found that to be really very helpful because I was able to refer to the community charter later on um, and students really sent, felt a sense of agency in the classroom um, because they were involved in creating those things that they then engaged with. Running out of cool backgrounds so you get to see this picture of the bee that I painted. My next tip is um, show students that you are learning right alongside them. Um, in many ways, TWP is a course all around helping students become lifelong learners and learning the mindsets and methods for learning. Um, and so it's a really powerful thing for them to see their professors learn right alongside them and to internalize those methods and mindsets that you use to learn or troubleshoot or problem solve. So if something goes awry or something doesn't turn out the way that you expect it to, use that as a learning opportunity to show students how you solve problems or learn um, new topics or engage in research yourself. to talk a little bit too about uh, the structure of your TWP class and I encourage you to um, adopt a structure that allows students to have a sense of you know scaffolding for sure they are first-year students and lots of them need that sense of structure in order to succeed but also think about a structure that's flexible enough to allow for 
exploration of emergent ideas that your students might have about your wicked problem. Um, for, for example, uh, in my class, um, which the topic was a loss of a love of learning, students ended up really wanting to talk about the impact of COVID-19 and emergency remote teaching on a loss of a love of learning. I previously had no plans to really spend very much time on that, but they wanted to. So I ended up moving around some of my own content, even deleting some assignments that I had previously expected to do with them to make room for that topic that they wanted to explore more. So um, finding those times where you can allow students to kind of take the lead and dictate what sorts of things that you do in the classroom um, is really powerful. My final tip might actually be the most important one, um, and that is to be kind to yourself in TWP. Um, this course isn't easy to teach. It embraces lots of transformational pedagogical approaches that are going to be very new for most, if not all of your students. Um, and they might even be new to you and uncomfortable moments may arise. So, you know, conflicts during group work, projects that totally crash and burn, and frustration from students who just want you to open up PowerPoint lecture and lecture at them and teach them something. Why are you making me doing the teaching of myself? Um, and these moments aren't because you are failing as a teacher. Um, these are natural moments to have in a course that is project-based um, and emergent and adopts all of these transformational pedagogies. Um, and they are opportunities for students to reflect on and learn from. Everything is a learning opportunity in this course. Um, and you can be really transformational to these students in talk, how you talk about failure and pivoting and problem solving. Um, so that is my final tip. I wish you best of luck um, as you prepare to teach TWP. And again, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, want to talk through an instructional challenge, or just chat about TWP. You can reach me at hannah.mallon at plymouth.edu. Uh, best of luck.